Hello, my name is Eric. In this video, I will talk about different mattresses aspect in a van conversion project. How to cut a mattress, mattress joints, best fabric choice and other tips. First thing to say is that you don't have to be afraid not to have a full one-piece bed. A folding bed can be as comfortable. With a folding bed, you save a lot of space and it is still comfortable. It gives lots of room when folded. If you didn't try such a folding sofa bed, you may wonder if you are going to fill the cracks between mattress pieces. The answer is no if you properly keep those mattress pieces tightly squeezed together. To do so, it's pretty easy. You just have to fix a wood board piece at the ends of the bed structure to keep those mattress pieces tightly together. You only need those wood board pieces on the sides parallel to the mattress joints. If there's no loose, everything is perfect. The mattress pieces won't slide out and you won't fall in those mattress joints. The mattress pieces does not have to be compressed between those toppers. In my van, I have the back door that keeps the mattress pieces from sliding out by the back of the van. For the front part, I just put a small thin wood board to keep the mattress from sliding out. The result is awesome. With almost nothing, it keeps everything tight and fit properly. As I said in my van tour, I sleep better in my van than at home. The other thing not to be afraid of is to cut a brand new foam mattress in pieces. It's pretty easy, I will explain how to do so. You just need the longest kitchen knife that you can find. Any long cutting knife will do the job. I use the upper one. The longer and sharper is the knife, the easier it is. You draw on the mattress the lines that you have to cut. Then, you throw your new foam mattress over a bed, letting hang the piece that you want to cut. The hanging part must be held horizontally, otherwise the cut won't be at 90 degrees. So you need a friend with you for this step. This is very important. Then, you simply use the knife as a manual saw, taking care to be at 90 degrees angle. That's it, it's pretty easy, but require attention all the time to keep those 90 degrees. Since that you may spill drinks on your mattress, that it may rain on it when doors are open, you need a good fabric. So I use an outside fabric conceived for outdoor furniture. They're pretty tough. Before covering the mattress with the outdoor furniture fabric, I covered it with silk film. This extra layer will protect the mattress. This shield will protect your foam from any liquid spilling. It's really not expensive and it gives a peace of mind. This is the kind of zipper that I use. It's very discreet. I hired a dressmaker that is used to do outdoor cushions for patio furniture and boat cushion furniture. She did a perfect job. Additionally, to avoid having to clean my outdoor fabric mattress covers, I use a fitted mattress protector. It gives even more peace of mind. Everything wear out on earth. I recommend you to find the best mattress that you can find. I use the 4.75 inches mattress that is made of an assembly of two foam mattress glued together. Between those pieces, there is holes for ventilation and comfort. It is comfortable. Since I didn't have much height in my van, I limited myself to a maximum 5 inches mattress. Furthermore, I didn't want it to lose sitting space in a sofa position. Look at my folding sofa bed video to have an explanation about that lost space when folding the bed. Also, here's another tip. If you go with a folding sofa bed, I recommend you to have all your panels of the same size. That way, you will be able to switch mattress position and mattress side. Everything will last longer. 
When braking quickly with your van, the back mattress piece may fall from its sofa position. To avoid this to happen, I simply hang a piece of my duvet on the corner of the sofa. As you have seen again, it's not difficult to realize your van conversion dream. You are invited to let me know what next video you would like me to produce. Also, I always enjoy reading about your van conversion project and ideas. I like to have news from you from video to video. I like to feel the community growing. So give me comments, this is my fuel to continue to make and publish videos. If you have not subscribed yet, go subscribe. You will learn more about van conversion, van life and see some adventures. It's always a pleasure to share. See ya!